In the world of fitness and strength training, there is a common misconception that lifting heavy weights every day is the fastest path to success. This belief has led many individuals to adopt a grueling daily routine of heavy lifting. However, that's not the case. Hi, my name is Noor. I'm sports coach living in Belgium. And in this video, we discuss the potential risks associated with daily heavy lifting, the reasons why this approach may not be as effective or sustainable as it seems and provide strategies to address these concerns and how to achieve optimal results without obvious training. First, let's talk what causes daily heavy lifting. The motivation behind it is multifaceted and often stems from a variety of factors, five of them to be precise. First, perceived gains and rapid progress. Daily heavy lifting is often seen as a fast track to achieving significant gains in strength and muscle size. The promise of quick results is a powerful motivator, especially in a culture that values visible progress as a sign of success. This desire for immediate gratification can lead individuals to believe that lifting heavy weights every day is the most direct path to their fitness goals. The second, adherence to workout programs. Many structured fitness programs and training routines advocate daily heavy lifting as a core component of their regime, believing it to be the key to success. This sense of commitment to a specific program can compel individuals to engage in daily heavy lifting, even when it might not be the most suitable approach for their individual needs and capacities. The third one is culture of pushing limits. The broader fitness culture, especially in the age of social media, places a high value on pushing one's limit and continuously striving for greater feats of strength and endurance. The culture often celebrates those who can withstand and conquer intense daily workouts. Daily heavy lifting is seen such a badge of honor and demonstration of unwavering commitment. Fourth one is goal-oriented mindset. Individuals with specific strength or body composition goals may gravitate towards daily heavy lifting they see it as a mean to an end, believing it to be the most direct route to achieving their objectives. But what they miss is that thing called overtraining and injury. <laughs> it's only natural to want quick results from our efforts. We often equate visible progress with success and the promise of daily heavy lifting can seem like a shortcut to achieving our strength and fitness goals. But we forget that one of the most significant dangers of lifting heavy every single day is the increased risk of overtraining and injury. In a culture that often glorifies pushing one's limit and working harder, the idea of lifting heavy weights every day can be exhausting. Lifting heavy places significant demand on your central nervous system. Your muscles and CNS need time to recover and adapt to the stress you put them through. Training at high intensities daily can lead to your central nervous system fatiguing, resulting in a reduced workout performance, leading to overuse injuries, muscle strains, and joint issues. Your CNS needs time to recharge, just like your muscles. So how to fix it? Addressing the practice of daily heavy lifting, you are watching life. I'm waiting for you to give me an alternative or to replace a completely with a structured and sustainable approach to strength training. I will say, I got you. First, periodization. To understand it, it's a method that involves alternating through different phases of intensity, strategically varying your workouts to optimize results while minimizing the risk of overtraining. There are different phases of periodization. The hypertrophy phase, higher repetitions and moderate weights, focusing on muscle growth and endurance. The strength phase. During this phase, you will incorporate heavy lifting, working on maximal strength. The recovery phase, a crucial period dedicated to rest and active recovery, allowing your body to recuperate fully. So you will ask me, what are the benefits of periodization? I told you these three, hypertrophy, strength and recovery. The benefit is it lowers the risk of overuse injuries by allowing adequate time for recovery and muscle adaptation by strategically targeting different aspects of fitness throughout the phases you can achieve more balanced and sustainable progress and it's a proven method for long-term success as it keeps your training fresh and adaptable after periodization there is one thing that's as important or more rest days even though we incorporated in the periodization phase to recover, you have to take some rest days. They are critical component of 
any successful training regime. These days are the days where your muscle repair and grow and your central nervous system recharge. Your CNS needs time to recover from the intense workout so you can reduce the risk of injuries and strains keeping you in the game for the long haul. By understanding the principles of visualization and embracing the importance of rest days, you can transition from daily heavy lifting to a structured approach that not only optimizes your results but also safeguards your long-term fitness journey. Listening to your body is crucial too. The most important aspect is your ability to tune into your body's signals and respond appropriately. I can give you the best programs, but if you don't know your body signals, it won't matter what any coach gives you. So differentiate between normal soreness and signs of exhaustion or overtraining is crucial for your training. So finding a balance between pushing your limits and allowing sufficient recovery is key. If you notice any signs of overtraining, it's essential to adjust your training schedule and prioritize rest. Talk to your coach, your fitness journey is a marathon, not a sprint. And listening to your body is the compass that will guide you towards long-term success. So to conclude, lifting heavy weights every day might seem like the path to rapid gains. But as we saw in the video, it comes with a significant risk. If you want to know how to ideally train at the gym and avoid the mistakes 95% of people make, you can watch this video and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.